wiring three-way switches. As you remember, this is a three-way switch. It has a toggle up and down, has a set of screws, has a ground screw that is green, has a common screw that is black, and has two traveler screws which are also bronze. If you look on the back, it also has the name common in case you get lost. When doing three-way switches, you're going to need several components. You actually have to use two switches. They do not work by themselves. They only work with another switch. And I'm going to show you the layout of the system here. From the breaker here, power is going to come in on our, on our line, our supply line. It's going to come to the common screw on one of the three ways. Power will then jump back and forth between the red and black, as I've introduced to you now, a piece of 12-3 wire. It means it has and it has three wires, has a, a hot wire, a hot wire, which is also red, a neutral, and a ground. And then the power is going to jump between these two switches back and forth on this piece of 12-3. It'll go down the red, come back the black, or go down the black and come back the red, run around. Power will then come out of this common screw on the second three-way and run out to your light. That's a three-way system. And it's designed as you can have one switch on one side of a room, one switch on the other side of the room, so no matter what door you come in, usually in living areas and hallways and things, you can have a place to turn a switch on. You don't have to walk all the way across the room to turn the lights on. It's a safety feature. So wiring a three-way switch. Gonna start with our power that goes in. And I'll loop it around our common screw, the black screw, and tighten. I'm going to leave my ground and my neutral to one side. Now I'm going to take my piece of 12-3. And whatever way I wire it, on one, I have to wire the other. If the red is on the left, on one switch, the red has got to be on the left of another switch. If the black is on the right on one switch, the black has got to be on the right on another switch. You've got to have them the same. You can't reverse them around on these switches. So I'm going to do red on the left, loop it around the bottom left traveler. Clockwise. Black on the right. Around the bottom right traveler. So I have my power coming in, and I have my first set of traveler wires that are going to jump back and forth. Like before, we're going to take our neutrals, like in any switch, because switches don't use neutrals. And our wire nut. And we're going to hook these two together this way. Twist them together with a wire nut. We're going to take our two grounds, if I can get them oriented together. Going to twist those together. Make a loop in one. And it goes under the ground screw. I have to redo the neutrals because they come undone, which is not uncommon. Here's what most electricians actually do. They'll take the two neutrals with a pair of pliers, usually lineman pliers. They'll twist them together, nip off the ends together, then they'll place their wire nut on it. So this is the start of our circuit. We have our supply coming in. 
our neutrals together. We have a hot wire on the bottom right. We have the red hot wire on the bottom left. And our supply coming in, the black wire, goes to the common. Now we're going to wire this to a second three-way. What I did on one side, I have to do to the other. Putting red on red on the bottom left. Black on the bottom right. Now we're going to bring in the wire that's going to take the power all the way to our, our light fixture. And it comes out the common, the black screw. Let's see what side our ground is on and try to get them all facing in the same direction. Take our two ground wires, twist them together. Like I said earlier, most electricians actually take the ground wires, twist them with a pair of pliers like this really tight. They'll go in and cut off one of them and bend the other. Now it goes under the ground screw. It's tightened in place. Our two neutral wires. Line them up together. Take your wire nut. And wire them. And this will be the power going to our light. Now we've completed that circuit. We have the power coming in with the black wire. The power out of this wire with a piece of 12-2, the black wire connects to the common. Then coming out of the two travelers, we have red on the left, black on the right, comes over, red on the left, black on the right. We have power going out through this common to another piece of 12-2 out to our lot. Our neutrals are wire nutted, our grounds are twisted and stuck on a ground screw. That completes that circuit. So what I'm gonna to wanna to see from you is the wiring and show me which wire is piece of 12-2 going into one switch, 12-3 jumps between the two switches, and 12-2 that would go out to a light. I wanna see the neutrals wired together, the grounds bent and placed behind the screw. Another tool that I wanted to show you all that most of you probably asked about and have no clue when you saw it is this one. This is called a rotating speed screwdriver and it's designed to work as a screwdriver very fast. It's, it pivots and spins and you can place it in on a small screw and hold it. And really where you use this at is like switch cover. Remember the cover plate screw holes? It's designed to fit in there and do the job very quickly. Because you can look around you in this school and figure out how many cover plates there are and start counting because that's going to be your first job is putting them on. It goes a lot quicker that way than it does taking a screwdriver and going like this for every one of those. You take the rotating speed screwdriver, hence the name, and once you get it started, they come in and out very quick. The rotating speed screwdriver.